A common question in mathematics is, what is the best way to learn math? Should you focus on the memorization of formulas, or should you focus on understanding the derivations? As human beings, we have this natural tendency to kind of reject memorization, and rightly so. Even the mere word memorization gives the feeling that you're reading something and you're just memorizing it, you're not really learning. So you feel like, what's the point? You're forcing some information in your brain that is not really doing anything for you except helping you succeed at your current task, which is your class, which we tend to forget. But it just feels empty. It feels like you're not really learning. Unfortunately, memorization is required for mathematics. And the best way to learn math is to focus on both memorization and learning. Learning and understanding where formulas come from takes longer. And so if you have a lot going on in your classes and you have a lot to do, it's not usually realistic to be able to learn how to derive everything in all of your classes. Time is a constraint and your performance trumps everything. So you really have to focus on both memorization and understanding when you have time. Anyways, I'm ranting, and it's because this video is motivated by an email I received from a viewer here on the channel. So I'm going to start this video by briefly reading your email and doing my best to answer it. If you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave comments, it helps people all over the world who watch these videos. Okay, I will leave their name out of it. The subject is simply advice. The message reads as follows. Sir, I am from India, currently studying in 11th. I am studying maths, physics, chemistry, and information practices. Sir, I have trouble memorizing or even accepting formulas in maths, physics, or chemistry without seeing derivation, which sometimes makes me lag behind, or even if I try, when I see chemistry, there are some things which makes no sense or they have gotten wrong. Tomorrow I have my chemistry exam and I have no idea what to learn because many theories we read about, we are given counter examples, making it tough to digest. I can make touch with physics and maths at last because it is beautiful, but chemistry is tough. I want to be a mathematical physicist. Please guide me, sir. I really want to do math and physics for the sake of it, but I am scared I will crack JEE or get into a good college. Thank you, sir. So first, let me say, I really appreciate your email. Thank you so much for reaching out. This is a good email, and I do have some advice for you. Second, let me just say that chemistry is tough. Just yesterday, I was reading an email from another subscriber who emailed me, and they were also struggling with chemistry. Their, their situation was very similar to yours, and chemistry was really bringing them down. I mean, it was really giving them a hard time. This is normal, right? Sometimes certain people have trouble with certain subjects. You mentioned that you can make touch with physics and maths at last because it is beautiful. So basically, you love physics and math. So because you like those things, you are more inclined to focus on them, and you're more inclined to work on them, whereas chemistry, you don't like, you don't understand. It's basically ruining your life, right? So what do you do? Well, again, let me just say it's normal, okay? Everyone has that. It, it's kind of like, I feel like it's impossible to like every subject at your first encounter, you know? When I first saw graph theory, I hated it. I, I was like, what is graph theory? What is the point? I did not like it, right? I, I resisted it. And that's how it is with a lot of subjects in all areas. So realize that your feelings are normal, what you're going through is normal. So here's my advice. The biggest piece of advice I have for you is, well, and I don't know if you can do it, if there's any way you can cut back and just do a little bit less, I think that's going to help you tremendously. Now, I, I don't know if that's possible because I don't know how the system works in India and you're in 11th grade, so it's not like college where you can drop a class. I, I think it's, I'm sure it's different. But if there's any way you can cut back a little bit and just slow down and take your time and focus on doing less and doing it better, 
I think that's going to help you in the long run. So one of the things I've noticed about a lot of the emails I get from people all over the world, and I've noticed from being a teacher in college and having students, is that I feel like students today, or maybe it's just people in general, maybe it's always been this way, people do too much. And I'm not saying you shouldn't work hard. I, th I think you should work as hard as you possibly can, right? You should crush it. But you need to have less to work on, right? So work on less and work on it better rather than doing so much. So if it's a possibility, okay, if it's a possibility, cut back, okay, cut back. And I've said this before, but I'll say it again. You have an upper limit, right? And I think you might have hit it, right? You know what your upper, you're, take, you're taking four hard classes, okay? For me, your, your course load is pretty much like the top of my upper limit. I could always do a maximum of three hard math classes, so like proof-based. That was my upper limit. I could never do four, okay? I could never do four. So you're, you're, you're near that upper limit. You've got some hard classes. They're not all math, but you've got chemistry, information practices, maths, and physics. Those, those are pretty tough. So that's, you're pushing it. If you can't reduce your workload, and the second piece of advice I have is to really, really focus on memorizing. And the truth is, this is easier said than done because I've been in your situation, right? I, I remember taking biology too and struggling to learn. I, I, I did everything I could and I ended up with a C plus. And I remember the guy next to me got an A and I just, I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't break through. I could not get better. And I kept telling myself, if this guy can do it, I can do it. And he was, he was a little annoying. He was always like, I'm going to be a doctor. And he was a nice guy, but I thought, wow, this guy's really got it together. Like, how can he do it? And I can't. I mean, he seems really smart. He's a good guy. And why can't I do it? Why? Why? And it's because I felt like you. I just didn't like the subject. I resisted memorization. And I ended up, again, I didn't get an A, so I didn't succeed, which is probably not very comforting to you, but at least, at least it lets you know that, you know, this is normal, it happens. At least you're doing really well in math and physics. You're young, you're only in 11th grade. I would say, do your best, focus on memorizing everything, do the best you can, okay? And this way, if you don't make it, like let's say the semester ends and, and you, you, don't, you don't pass chemistry or you don't get the grade you want, at least you can look back and you can say, hey, you know what? I did my best. And that's honestly good enough because that way you don't have any regrets. So that's my advice. If anyone has advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you want to learn math, check out my courses. They're on Udemy. Please use my links in the description of this video. The key takeaway from this video, well, there's two. One, sometimes we're doing too much. Right? If you're taking a lot of classes and you're struggling and, and you just have a lot of responsibilities, cut back, right? Two, sometimes memorization is required. Right? It's just one of those things. I hope it's been helpful. Take care.